once you've added your first uh, custom tab, adding the second one and the third and so on is much easier. And I want to show you how you do it. And also I'll show you how to add a URL into the custom tab, uh, tab which means adding a new website into your Facebook uh, business page. So I go to the business page where all the tabs are. Here is the tab that I created in a previous video. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this arrow and I'm going to click on one of the pluses to add a new tab. And you can see that once you install this static iframe uh, app, it's already here and you can choose a custom tab. And this is the custom layout that you get. Uh, this is the image and this is the title. And it automatically opens the welcome tab, but I may feel like I want to change it. So what I do is I click on the little uh, pencil, edit settings. I can change the name. Let's call it, uh, let's call it contact me. Okay, and save. And I can change the image. Click on this. Instead of these spotlights, maybe I'm not a big fan. I can change the image to anything else from uh, my computer. Um, let's choose this image, uh, the my Your Digital Agent uh, logo. Um, and once this uh, appears here, I can just close this uh, new uh, uh, tab that was opened and OK this. And now you'll see different name, contact me and different visual. So what I need uh, to do now, the last thing that's left is to edit the actual content of this tab. So I simply click on the tab and now it will upload uh, the, ice, the static iframe uh, um, managing um, feature. And as you can see on this, uh, in this example, uh, it's already been done in advance, but I want to change it so you see step by step exactly what I did here. So what did I do? I basically did only one thing. Uh, instead of choosing to add HTML, which we showed in another video, I decided uh, to add a URL, which is going on to my website, to the contact form uh, um, link, where I have a contact form ready for my, uh, for my uh, customers. Just copy the URL, go back here, paste the URL here. Now, bear in mind that uh, this is 560 pixels wide, so it will be cut in half. Uh, you will not be able to see the entire web page, um, but what, all, all I need to do now is save settings, and I will show you the result in a second. Save settings, thinking for a little bit, go up, settings have been saved, and if you want to see how it looks like, you can view the tab as a, you can view the tab as a, um, as a preview. Uh, let's try something new here. Save settings. Okay, settings have been saved and we can check out to view the tab and see exactly if we like it or don't like it. And if we don't like it, uh, we can uh, change it again. And you can see it's cut a little bit, not uh, entirely because I enabled uh, 810 pixels wide. Um, so it is a little bit cut, uh, but still a viewer that goes on this tab can see my uh, contact form and fill it in inside Facebook. They're not leaving the Facebook business page. They're not going or being linked outside to my web uh, page, but directly from my web page, uh, it appears on Facebook and they can fill in a contact form without any hassle. Very, very cool tab. I want to show you how it looks like if I go back to the business page. Okay, so this is the business page. Now it's hidden, you see, because you can only see the four main tabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tab, the new one, the contact me tab, and I'm going to switch it with the uh, events or like which ones, let's just switch it with events. So it will move up here and be visible easily to the surfer. And then what I can do is just click on this tab. And this is what the, the surfer, the, the viewer, our potential client will see once they click on the tab. So again, it's not perfectly done. You can obviously work on the graphics or work on a website that will be more uh, adaptable. But at the end of the day, even if it's cut a little bit over here, you can still see the main thing. You can see the contact me information. And most importantly, you can actually fill in a contact form. Um, and that's a great uh, solution for you.